What's up guys, Sam Man back with another review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Waxwork Spinatures Horror Figures, miniature little busts. Now these go on top of your record players. I've done reviews on the Michael Myers one as seen right here, which I absolutely love. These guys are so cool. And the skeleton from Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Now you can see right here on the top, they do go on top. They spin on top of the record players, but I don't have one. So I bought these because, I, like I said, these just look great as display pieces or about what a little like four or five inches in scale and they're really really detailed so waxwork records sent these out for me to review and thank you guys so much so we have figure number one Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster based off of the 1931 film. And then we have Bride of Frankenstein based off of the 1935 film. And then we have John Car Carpenter's They Live, Spinature, Politician. This is an awesome movie. If you have not seen the 1988 film, They Live, definitely check it out. So we'll look at the packaging here at the front. So you have It's Alive right here in the packaging. And then right there it says turntable spinner mini figure universal monsters you got the awesome open window there you come to the side you got another open window and then on the back look at this really cool images from the film there is a little bit of a read up and then you have some images of the actual bust and look at this artwork right there that is super super cool so we'll put that down we'll take a look at bride of frankenstein Oh, man, the sculpting on this just looks so cool. So it has Bride of Frankenstein. Come to the side. And I, I like this. I didn't even realize that. This looks like a record player right there, a record. And then you come to the back, again, images from the film. And then you have images of the bust itself. You come to the other side. Look at the artwork on this. Man, this is the... If you're a mint on box collector, these just look fantastic in box. But you guys know I open my stuff. And then right here... Oh, and then also read Spinach on top. They live right here. The Politician... It's in a white box, open window. On the back, they live, we sleep, and then look at the artwork on that one. Super cool. Would it be cool if they actually had cards inside here to display alongside your figure? So let's go ahead and open these up, guys, and we're going to see if they're pickup or pass. So we have all three of the mini busts outside of packaging. I'm trying to figure out what, which one to look at first. And to be honest with you, since Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein are black and white, Having the politician right there with the only color actually looks really cool. So let's look at the politician first from They Live. If you guys, again, if you haven't seen this movie, definitely check it out, guys. Look at the detail on him, the sculpt, and these are aliens. If you not have seen them, if you haven't seen the movie, I'm not going to tell you any more. But the oh man, I love the blue that they used on this. Look at this, very very creepy and very very detailed. The hair, the sculpt on this looks great. Look at the hand. You can even see, you know, some of the, the flesh on there as well. Same thing with the, um, like, the muscles and everything. They have no nose. And then the little skeletal, little part of the jaw and the teeth. He's got a uh, tuxedo right there, like a like a grayish suit. You can see the tie with red and black. His white dress shirt, the buttons. But they they added, like, those, this really nice detail on the suit. Like, Waxwork, you guys did a great job on this. You, you did a fantastic job. And sculpting this, look at that. See the detail? Like, like this looks like a kind of like a corduroy, corduroy material. But this looks fantastic. And then again, at the bottom, you put this on top of your record player. And then this guy just spins around. But very, very nice. Very, very detailed. So there is the politician. Look at his hand right here. Look at that. Let me show you guys a close-up again. Look at this, man. Very cool, guys. All right, so there is the politician. And then we'll take a look at Frankenstein's monster. I know a lot of people wanted me to review the Universal Monster figures, and here he is. Look at that. Look at his eyes. He's got the gray eyes. Look at that. Look at this. See the detail? Geez, look at the bolts on the side of the neck. The hair looks great. You can see some scars on the forehead. And then you have his uh, gray suit. Here's the back. Oh, man, these are so cool. These are just really, really awesome. I love the eyes. He looks very creepy. I can imagine if like Waxwork did these in like 10 inch form, these would be so, so awesome. And again, these are priced at under $25, so it's not bad at all. And you can pick these up at Big Bad Toy Store, guys. Use my link in the description. So there is a close look here for Frankenstein's monster. Oh, it's so awesome. So we got him right there. And then we have the Bride of Frankenstein. You can see her outfit right there. Look at this. See the detailing on her? There's the back. Here's the bottom. You have the hair was black with a little bit of white or gray. And you can see some of the scars there on her lower chin. See that? This is a beautiful figure. 
Look at the head sculpt on that. They did such a great job on these little miniature figures, man. I mean, it looks like right out of the screen. Just a very beautiful sculpt. So there is the Bride of Frankenstein. And again, the for under $25, guys, you cannot go wrong for these. Even Like I said, even if you don't own a record player, these serve as great miniature bust for your like horror display or displaying them next to horror movies or you know just in your collection and again here is michael myers and then we have the from halloween 3 the skeleton from season of the witch there is a creature from the black lagoon so i do want to pick that up because that is one i'm def i definitely want to pick up and then they have the other two characters from the season of the witch which are they have the witch and then they have the uh, the pumpkin head one. So I'm hoping we get some more Michael Myers ones, some more Universal Monsters. And we'll see where they go down the line with these. I really hope Waxwork continues. Hey, Waxer, if you guys are watching this, give us a Pennywise, the clown, if you can. You know, from the 1990 to 2017. Give us a Freddy Krueger, a Chucky, a Leatherface. I would love to see you guys just continue on with these horror figures. I'm pretty sure a lot of the viewers would love to see it. You know what, guys? Let me know in the comments down below who you would want them to make in the spinachers what horror character let me know in the comments down below guys let me know if it's a pickup or a pass we'll see you soon thank you for watching thank you waxwork for sending these out to review we will see you soon later oh come back anytime bring your friends <laughs>